Hello, everybody. Welcome to CCL Season 52. Uh, the final second round match, we've got Veloso, who is Yaka Stai, who I didn't know uh, last time. But oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, versus, versus Crystal Hunter, who obviously everybody knows as well. Um, that was a pitch invasion, wasn't it? And in the booth is Squirrel Dude. Hello. Unlike Chunter, no one knows me. <laughs> There you go. So yeah, I mean, it's two, two big names, isn't it? Yak and uh, Chunter. I just didn't know that Veloso was Yak. Uh, Yak is down, he's got a babe, and he's got a dead black orc instantly. <laughs> 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 okay, Apple works. And he's got he's got a ripper, so he's down a lot of TV now. Um, but his team's still kind of better. Right, like yeah. once this guy comes back, he's got he's got more skills than the humans, <laughs> and he's got Ripper and a babe, so it's kind of crazy. Chunter probably has too many spare players. Um, yes, definitely. Also, his ogre is overdeveloped. Um, to say the least. <laughs> yes. You you don't need pro. After you you don't need pro. I promise you don't. You really don't need pro. <laughs> well, you you're just a slave to the meta and. Uh... <laughs> A real cowboy I'm, would make good use of. Proof. I'm not a cow. I'm not. I'm not a crystal cowboy. No. <laughs> Just from Texas. Yep. Hello, Hancock. I know, right? Yak with two rerolls is absolute luxury for Yak, but it's still. I mean, like... yeah. The two rerolls is why it's the amount of rounds will be in the tournament too. Oh. Well, yeah. That's luxury. I mean, yes, it's light, someone... but for Yak, it's luxury. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Normally he comes in with zero or one. <laughs> Him coming yeah. out with two is wild. He's um, also normally in zero to one rounds of the playoffs. Yep. So. And he's got no reserves. He's like he had eleven, but obviously Ripper put him up to twelve. Um, and yeah, Chunter has a lot of dead TV on the sidelines. But you know, there's a lot of mighty blown stuff on the. Uh, not that much mighty blown the Orcs, but a bit of mighty blown the Orcs. So it's fine to have some reserves. Um, but yeah, not too much power. From Chunt's team. Just have a gut of him. Yeah. yeah. He's a gun runner and he has a super ogre, and that's, you know, that can be enough to do things. Yeah. Not the best matchup for those players. Orcs aren't really great for, um, instead of around a single star player, I find. Yeah, yeah Veloso is Yak, yeah. yeah. I'm sad that I didn't know the first time. In the first round, I didn't know Veloso was Yak. Also, I see that Chunter is basically trying to play this like a Skaven team with all these catchers. Yep. Which I actually don't think is an incorrect way to play humans. I think people are... They're, it's a much less reliable because they are only agility 3. But I do wonder if it's not such a crazy idea, especially once they became armor value 8 in the Blood Bowl 2. Mm -hmm. Try and play a bit more like uh, Skaven with some... Which is a bit, a bit more aligned towards the Blitzers. Just more catchers and kind of not carry, but then he also has a thrower that's overdeveloped. So what do I know? <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. It's just Chunter being Chunter, isn't it? Really, uh, doing kind of suboptimal things for the sake of it is what he likes to do. <laughs> yeah. I, I do think there was a time when uh, level two, like a, in the middle three of its five years or whatever, uh, of people started going, well, I could, I could just not have a thrower and could just use like. Catcher is the carry. They're not much eighth. They're not much weaker, and I get the extra two movement. That might be worth the strength. And I think that kind of experimentation has been good, and it's probably spurred on by again the armor value eight. So I'm curious if that will carry over into new rules versions of Blood Bowl, like on the tabletop, where people maybe will just use catcher as opposed to the thrower. I mean, in tabletop and tabletop, because there's no, unfortunately, there's no digital version of the 2020 rules. But mm -hmm. on tabletop, um, it's. It's sneaky, get dirty player catches, isn't it? Is there... Well, there is one digital version of the rules, right? No, there, there isn't. Is... No, there isn't, oh, Squirrel. Is Fumble not fully done yet? Ah, uh, nah, not really. Not if you have eyes, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, and Pro does something immediately after. A few turns after I say you don't need Pro. <laughs> Glorious Pro. Yeah, Pro's fine. Like, you know, Pro... Pro, the pro is the best part. Well, not the best part. Obviously, the best part is block guard. But the, the, of the things that's wrong with the ogre, the pro is fine, right? It could be pro. It could be dodge. Like it's fine. It's just yeah. that it should be stand firm. Like it's a hundred. Well, it's it's a hundred percent guard, not multi block. I mean, it's a hundred percent stand firm after guard. Like it's just insane to have gone multi guard before multi block before guard. It's 
Multi guard yeah. would be a good skill. But uh, pro has its cons. Hey, well done, Shigan. Uh, but yeah, but, you know, pro pro does like it's not what I do, but it has got good things going for it. Pro, there are pros to pro. Um, but mm -hmm. I would I would go dodge. But you know, pro isn't definitively wrong like multiple blockers. No. It's just very expensive. Though it's not going to be as expensive as, as in future editions of uh, 2020 World War will be 40k. If you're allowed to yeah. take it at all, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, Chunter won't be able to take multiple block in certain editions, I'm sure. It's just, it's just, since it's such a complicated skill. Yes. Block twice and applying is this. Yep. Amazing. Literally amazing. Isn't it? Wow. Big dodge. Did you just have to score on turn four here? No, I don't think so. He's just gonna bet on the orc to fail a four up three up and or not attempt it. Probably want that dodge to work though to make it a bit safer. Yeah, he's used to relying on three pluses with uh, Skaven to get stalls, but I mean, next turn he's gonna have to score, isn't he? Almost yeah, certainly yeah. here, yeah, can uh, get some pressure and get wrap people around. I don't think I don't think uh, Yak will go for the ball hit here. I think he'll just be happy to, uh, to you know, get this guy back, get this guy back, wrap these around. Oh. I don't know, Dog to the Dog. Uh, sorry, I don't know, Lord. I think I think Squirrel has uh, is trying to <laughs> is trying <Humble. laughs> is trying to bring, you know you know trying to uh, trying to you know make Funky. subtle illusions. And, and also, in in the future, maybe one day, Games Workshop won't give the uh, IP to developer that has a track record of not making ideal games, but. And that company would make a better, more complete version of new rule sets. Let's hope so. <sighs> so he's got to score now, hasn't he? Like, unless he does the Cody Westwind stall. No. <laughs> So four turns for Yak to bang it in, pretty, set up for a 2-1. Pretty good considering he basically had no defense after a pitch invasion. Incredible, yeah, you've got to say, that's, that's a mistake from Chunter maybe. Maybe he should have, uh, maybe he should have dackered. Um, mm. But you know, Taking Chunter likes turn. playing, playing yeah. kind of adventurously, doesn't he? So you know, that's just yeah. his play style. Same with the bulletable block, isn't it? It's the same kind of thing. He likes to, he likes to win things his way rather than the meta way. He's not a meta slave. He's a bit of a cowboy, isn't he? <laughs> Counter also is definitely a coach who prefers to play aggressively on defense. I think he'd rather, almost rather play a four-turn defense than a two-turn defense, or a three-turn defense than a two-turn defense, because he'd rather have the option of putting on pressure and trying to score mm. than just trying to stop the score on defense. <laughs> Even against a team like Orcs who can't score. Yeah. Very good, Chigan. Very good. And P. Diddy, will we see basing? Or not? No, we won't. We'll see screening. Even Chunter isn't crazy enough to, to base this team full of block guards <laughs> down for a mighty blow. <laughs> These three Black Orcs are unbelievable, aren't they? Some of the best block orcs you're ever going to see. Honestly, even though that's just block stand from is really nice. Yeah. Uh, glorious blitzers as well. It's 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 an outrageously good team. And like min max as well, isn't it? A little bit. Um with like the blitzer but just with sure hands, the blitzer mm. would tackle mighty block guard black orc like okay, uh, sorry, the block stand firm. Like obviously black guard is better, but then the stand firm gives him that with the all the others having stand firm. He kind of gets a bit of critical mass and stand firm, which is pretty cool. That blitzer is just unbelievably good, isn't he? It's a, it's a great team. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, am I missing it, or does it not have... Is it a palm somewhere on this one? I just didn't see it. Oh, is that that blitzer on the left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got... No, no, there's no palm. He's got pro instead. Okay. That's... 
should probably have piling on on this team, but besides yeah. that, I mean, it's, it's, it's so strong yeah. with Ripper and the four black orcs and the strength of Blitzer. It's so, so strong. Yeah, it's really I like I like the rest of the three player as well with a nice utility player, and Orc Lyman are just great. Just yeah. really good. Oh, that's a good point from Enzo on the stand firm is a hard counter to Sheen the Chain, guys. Mm. <laughs> and yes, great line from Cheergan that uh, <laughs> Cody Westwind did the longest stall in Chelly's history. He won't have to score for three seasons. <laughs> Way. Hey. Oh, pro hey. failed. Oh, no, the pro worked, but then you rolled another one on the bonehead. Amazing. But on a more serious note, the pro actually, the strand firm actually is pretty strong as a team. That's so much is going to want to play Zoklin where it's over can just move someone out of the way as the strong, easy, reliable blitz that a pro block big guy can be anyway. You want to stand for him, well that just isn't really a thing you can do. Mm. You don't move anyone. Oof. Huge. Can stick a uh, stick ripper on the troll, uh, let's on the troll, R strict ripper on the ogre is pretty good here. Mm. And then move up to here, this is a big gaping hole. Some may call it trap space, but I call it getting banged on space. Yeah, Dr. the Dog. I mean, it's just, it just should have been guard, right? It should have been... It should have been guard 100% for the Guard Sandra is probably a better play. And or then, even guard break tackle is probably a better play, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Then it could be break tackle. That obviously could be dodge break tackle. It could be pro mm -hmm. juggernaut. It could be pro stand firm. It could be dodge stand firm, but just not multi block in the guard. Just not multi block. I'm not going to be too critical of, like, yes, it would be better player, but there is also value in just, like, doing these things that are suboptimal and recognizing the ways in which they are suboptimal or are optimal for yourself. Like, so I do think there's, a, there's like, there's value in being adventurous, like, especially when, like, winning this doesn't really matter. Like, if you already want a chalice and you're not going to get any money from it, you might as well just do some stuff to... Yeah, you just like to try it. more sub Yeah, try some suboptimal stuff and actually get a better understanding of it in matches that actually matter than just chalice games where lots of things can win chalice games if you're competent or, or more accurately if you're as good as Chunter or Jim here in Arianas. You can play style, a style that is maybe theoretically suboptimal, playing for a 4 2 win and not a 2 1 win, if you're just better than them anyway. So. I mean, it's still wrong. Yeah. It's yeah. still wrong for winning games, but if, if he has more fun doing it, then fair enough, isn't it? You know, like it's fine. It's fine, you know, like people, people, all these people who are shit act like good people are the fun police and like no one's telling Chun to not do it because it isn't fun they're just yeah you know like he obviously knows that multi-block isn't the fucking best skill right like he knows yeah. it's not the best skill he's just doing it because he finds it fun or he wants to win with it because then he'll think you know i wouldn't really not not surfing here is bizarre isn't it i guess because it was turn seven yeah it's turn seven it's not bizarre it's turn seven um so, you know, like he just wants to win his way and stuff, and he, you know, he wants to do that because it's fun, and that, that's fine, isn't it? Man, scoring is so hard. They should have, so they should have an easy, feels like they should have a much easier time scoring than this, but it's going to be pretty tight, even with the. Mm. Oof. And those fair players for Chunter are not going to be dead team value. They are going to come in, they are going to be helpful in the second half. Mm. Do you know what? It's funny, Enzo, that I that I am insulted by that statement. <laughs> but maybe that shouldn't be, yeah? Seeing as Inarians won two chalices and uh, Chunters won one, but yep, I'm still I'm still insulted by that statement. But it's okay. I didn't I didn't I didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm disappointed I couldn't draw you off sides, but I tried. <laughs> Glorious. Exactly, Doug the nice. Dog, like, that's the thing, he's just doing it because it's fun, isn't it? But it's just, you know, I think it's important to point out for the people watching at home that this isn't good. <laughs> this is bad. Chunter knows it. I know it was, I know it was, I was just joking. I mean, I'm joking as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's funny, isn't it? I wasn't, I wasn't really insulted. Or anything. Yep, there we go. I knew that was coming as well. <sighs> this is not the Blood Bowl 3 protest stream, and it's actually a banned subject, Corpax, so there you go. 
band, from you talking about it, from a uh, chunter talking about it, from anybody in anybody talking about it, unless I want to talk about it because you know it will upset me, and uh, that's not good, is it? <laughs> But I'm allowed to talk about it because then I'm already upset. <laughs> I gotta give it to Yak. He's managed to get all of his blitzers separated from his incredible cadre of black orcs and his entire offense cornered on one side of the field somehow. Yeah, this is not the best. Herman yeah, this is not the best uh, offense from Yak, but really good defense from Chunter in the game, like, uh, mm -hmm. like he did one turn of another game. Oh, but he's let he's let him around the side for the handoff. Hello, Goliath. And he's got the ha he's got the handoff. Double GFI is it? Narcolepsy. Not a sleepy blitzer. So it looked like a great defense from Chunter, but a great soul from Yak. There you go. Yeah. Able to get away, get the handoff, and score. Works for elves sometimes. Mm. I mean, that is a play where you see an elf dude and you're like, oh, that's reasonable, and all it is is basically just one three plus different than what elves do all the time. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, you know, there's a bit of there's a bit of Cody Westwism, Cody Westwindism from Chunter there. You know, like that was, you've got to see that handoff. Uh, but then you do have to put in so much to stop the push anyway. So it's mm -hmm. it's really hard to stop it because maybe maybe you could have stopped it with one less player over there to have a player over there. But mm -hmm. it's really hard. Yeah. yeah, yeah, really good chances. Like that's the thing. Like you know, like people do get mad at elves, but it's really not that much harder for humans or orcs to do things like that. It's just that the the failure state is like that often that it's you don't want to do it right, but it's still it's mm -hmm. nothing's ever that hard. The fact that anything works on a six means that you know even like Saurus ridiculous players are never that ridiculous. And most things work on a five at the hardest. You aren't really usually rolling for a six. Usually you're rolling like your difficult rolls are fours or fives. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. it's too expensive positionally to make things sixes most of the time anyway. Mm. There you go, so now Chunter's strats biting him in the ass a little bit. And mm -hmm. now he's got a sub but his huge bench is paying off here. As yep. He still has a reserve. Um but yeah, I mean it's hard, isn't it? It's hard. Like this this team the Yak's team is incredible. Yeah. Chunter's team isn't. <laughs> Basically. And Yak is also had the two the war side of two strike kickoff events. He had a horrific uh, pitch invasion and a perfect defense on his offensive drive. So. Yeah, two perfect defenses, hasn't he? He's, he's faced two yeah. perfect defenses, and then his defense was pitch invasion. So yeah, he's definitely been diced off the kickoff as well. But I mean, Yak's good. Yak's just as good as Trenton, honestly. I, you know, I would I would put them on the same level. So I don't think there's a there's a clear coaching advantage one way or the other, um, but there is a clear team advantage in the way of Veloso. Slash Yak, much much better team. Yak just has some team development memes he works through by with his un and a reputation with it. He's earned with his underworld team, so yeah, underworld teams. Yeah, he still he still plays good. Like it's, you know, it's it's gonna be he is he is like you know uh, chunter tier. I would say solid chun solid chunter tier. Yep. The Chunter and Ari and Jimmy Yakase tier. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, uh, yes, it is Civi TV. Save your money. Uh, get a refund. Is my is my advice. Yep. Hundred percent. Get a refund. I would. I would look at the roadmap and see if you think those features are worth. Only a game, and then waiting for those features being in it. Because if they aren't, then you could just wait for the game to inevitably go on sale. Because every cyanide game goes on sale at least twice a year. Yeah, yeah, six months till it looks decent, basically, and and that's that's if they stick to it, and you know, and if they fix other things as well. So yeah, it's six months before I'd consider it. There's very little reason to buy the game before official launch, and there's very little game reason. And there may not be much of a reason based on what your priorities are to buy it at this point. But yeah, I, mean, I will this, not pull that up. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's not go on about it. We've got a we've got a match, we've got Blood Bowl too. We've got a base with a sidestep at understand firm. But um mm -hmm. obviously that just makes two players behind the ball. So all the more all the more easy for uh Yak to just go up here. 
But you know, it means one in nine times Trent will win. Which is pretty yep. good, isn't it? Mm hmm. Three plus dodge. That's it. And if you can make I think that, that I think it's the right play to go for three plus dodge here too. He could use but He's not doing it. He's not doing it. I mean Pro I gets like the power. Ah, oh, use pro. Okay. Getting the pound, getting the base, the side stuff, but with tackles, not so bad, I suppose. But now the ogre is kind of where you want to. I guess you can grab the ogre back out of the way. Yeah. But the ogre is now going to be on your cage corner. So. Ooh. I don't like the fall. Hmm. Okay, it was, it's better now, isn't it? Uh, that's an interesting. Well. Versus that Chunter, play? that's very dangerous, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, Chunter is going to... Well, it's not a blodge carrier. It's only... It is a minus... It's minus two. Yeah, I think Chunter's taking uphill. this uphill all day. Or, or, no, no, even better. You can punch this guy. And then if you power him, run through. Didn't take that oh, he punch, didn't have the, didn't have the assist, so it's only going to 1D. Just get to the Guardian for a 1 -er. Oh no, this guy comes in. Here we go, lovely. And he's got the Ash 4 for recovery. Like, obviously, you don't want to hit with him because he's the recovery. Oh, pushing to us go. Definitely correct to reroll that, though. Yep. Because the POW where the knockdown is so good, it's just a. Uh, it's the ball is very likely to be yours, so. And the orcs are tied up enough blocking, it's going to be hard for them to pressure that carrier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you'll have two standing up, ideally marking two players. Yeah, so this is, uh... Again, he just blocks, right? Just block. I mean, that's the thing with Chunter, you can, like, you know, he, he bases everybody. And then you block everybody. And then, <laughs> you know, he's probably got something that you can do to get a hit on you. But, mm. um, also, you might just bang out half his team. Uh, but it's very tricky when you don't. <laughs> It's very tricky when you don't bang out half his team. There are too many streams in a certain game to uh, catch what every random thing has happened so far. <laughs> so, we'll just have to wait for the highlights. Yep. It is, it is shocking how Similar armor value 8 is to armor value 7 for some reason. Play against uh, anyone with Mighty Blow. Mmm. Funny that. Weird. Also, Skaven are tend to be better at getting removals than these are. So. Yep. Yeah, I think there's a good six month of Blood Bowl to, to, to go. And I don't think it's... Uh, I don't think people are just saying that like they were with Blood Bowl 1. They were just saying that. So there was still some uh, Blood Bowl 1 at the time of the new release for a little bit as well. So we'll see. It's gonna take... You just gonna have to keep being patient, guys. That's it. You're looking for the bright future, you're just going to have to keep being patient. Two years delayed. Well, it's another six months. It is interesting to watch Shunt play this team with like rats, but I mean, they are pretty similar. Mm -hmm. Like, humans are pretty similar to rats, like, right? They're, they're really fast. They've got a bit of bashiness to them. Uh, they've got a bit of agility to them. It's just that their agility is not as good as rats, and their bash is not as good as rats. Their speed is not as good as rats. <laughs> The trade-off is they get a bit more armor, their beginning is a bit more reliable, and they have a better cadre of blitzers. That's really the trade-off, and it turns out to not be as good of a trade-off, because rats get, in exchange for only getting two blitzers, losing armor, they get every broken tool that's ever been put in the table. So, yeah. <laughs> literally every single one. Yeah. Good thing you've got pro for that bone head. Wait, I can't believe he's, he's passed pro twice. <laughs> and rolled the one. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> oh man. Oh wow, there you go. Cheeky removal. Tags the ball. I mean he's playing this like a very redditory uh player, isn't he here? Like this is very Reddit from Chunter. Tagging the ball carrier every turn and then hoping for the best basically, but 
you know, you explain it the right way, but I think just punching mm -hmm. everybody and then uh, just take all of the hits that you can and eventually there won't be many humans left to stop you is the plan. Move the ball. Square turn trip a little bit and potato if you have to to score, but just don't give the humans a real counter score. Yeah, like that's it. You've just got to not give them a, a golden opportunity. And like they had a mm -hmm. decent opportunity with a one defense wrestle, but like as long as you don't give them an amazing opportunity. Um, you know, like this turn. Yeah. Uh, just bang, bang, bang is probably what he's going to do. He has space he could take. I don't know if I love that stand up blitz, to be honest. I may have rather be trying to get up to the middle. Yeah, this I is good for the next the turn, though, right? This is good for the next turn yeah. because if you don't do that this turn, I don't know. I would have wanted to hit the middle first, see what happens in the middle. Yeah. I, yeah. Personally, I'd want to hit the middle first, see what happens in the middle, and then maybe, you know, he can't. He, he might be able to blitz if you do things. And then you could think about blitzing this guy as well. But think, I mean, think about the blitz, right? It's only going to be. Probably what this down guy or blitzing him or him, so there wasn't that many options for the blitz. But uh, yeah, this is a bit tricky, isn't it? This oh god, this is really horrible now for Yak. Well, wow. there's a crazy amount of standing from this game that is, but and sidestep that has really impacted how these coaches are able to block. And instant, very nice instant two D on the ball. Uh, is it two or is it? Yeah, uh, is it two instant two D? Instant two D. This guy's got guard. Isn't oh, he's strength guard, three. Or... He's not strength yeah. four. I saw the yeah. plus strength and just thought it was strength yeah. four. Okay, instant one D. The case where strength is arguably worse than dollars. I don't. Okay, what? Why did Why did we do that dodge? I guess we wanted this push direction so much that we want to take a one and nine dodge. Mm. That's weird. That's really weird. Oh. You don't understand. That's very that true. Seems... Yeah, that's that's paying playing too much for the high end result there. I think. I but is it though? Like that's the thing, right? It's only one in nine chance, you know. Like a one in nine chance of, you know, if you leave your front door, you get run over by a truck. That one in nine chance isn't very good. But if it's a one in nine chance that you know you lose a pound to gain a tenner, it's a, it's a good exchange, isn't it? So mm. you know. I, it's not what I would have done, and and that's that's where you could say that that lunatic uh, YouTube commentator was right, you know, in that you know yeah. people like Chunter will take those things, and you know he is behind, right? Like mm -hmm. Yak's team is way way better, and Chunter realizes he's behind, so he, he thinks by making the blitz from that angle, he'll get, you know, he's got a better chance for this edge four to get it and run away and score. So. Yak has also gotten very slightly lucky that neither of the hits on the ball now have resulted in it being loose. Like, it was two seventy-five percent chances to get the ball, basically, right? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah I, would have, I would have lost already if I didn't turn to those chances, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you in space get that, your entire team would be dead somehow. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean... Two <laughs> ball hits and... Just, oh. it's, it's not even a question if it had been, if it had been space get that. <laughs> When, uh, when space gonna hits your team, there's a 25% chance he just randomly actually throws a bomb somewhere on it and kills it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Dog the Dog. Yeah, it's, 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 it's the other side, isn't it? So it probably is worth that one in nine chance. And, uh... But the thing is, like, that's the thing. The thing is, this idiotic YouTuber comment is idiotic because all of the good players do things like that at the appropriate time, do you know what I mean? Like, like... That's what they do, even if they are a conservative player, when push comes to shove, Ooh. they are likely to do those kind of things. And that was a two on the ball, I think, that he mm. just gave up. Yeah, that, that was really was, yeah. Because dodges. Yeah. Cause this was a guard. Yeah, uh, that was a two on the ball, two dodges with dodge skill. That is, again, yeah, actually getting a little lucky here for Sean how strong his position is. And he looks like he might have to do GFIs to score. Yeah, I well, think Yuck's been... Yeah, no, he doesn't have to score GFIs. It's, he just needs to bang everyone down this turn and he's good. Yeah. It's going to be pretty easy for Yak now, I think. Yeah. Um, I don't want to harp on it too much other than to say that Break Tackle or Stand from Atlanta Ogre would be much better right now. Yes. Break Tackle in particular would actually be a, a real annoyance for Yak. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a shame. It's a shame for Chunter. I think, I think Chunter's mm -hmm. played better. Um... And like you know, obviously his style, his style was the right style in in, in this match, yeah. right? Like that's the thing. But sometimes it's it's not as good. But you know, he try he plays the team 
he plays the teams that pay off his style, doesn't he? Do you know what I mean? That's why he tried Orcs. That's uh, that's why I told him to try Orcs one time, um, yeah. so that you know maybe he could learn to play properly. And he just hated it and didn't want to do it. So he yeah. <laughs> he likes playing like this, and uh, and you know, but the team the teams facilitated as well. I think it was Let's correct, go. and I think you know, it was right. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, Pro does it. Well, hey. I just think, uh, yeah, I think Yuck's been pretty, pretty fucking lucky this game, and it's a bit sad for Chunter that he's almost certainly going to lose. Um, he could double base the ball here. Yeah, no, it's still just a one. It's still eight times out of nine he scores, doesn't he? Nice leap. Hmm. I think you need to. I think I would like to do two GFIs and base the ball on the in, on the other side if you could, but. That's maybe too many dodges. Try and get it so that you're sandwiching it between the sidestepper and over or something. So that becomes a real problem to get through for the orcs. No, this is still very easy. Yeah, it's still quite simple. He's got too many There's players. First action ripper block, huh? Really? That's the first action we're gonna do? Ripper with a reroll? It does free that guy though. So and otherwise how do you fill in that sidestep square? Is that this first action though? I think it probably has to be. Mm. I think it probably has to be. Because you really want to fill in that side tuck square. I was thinking take the block with um, the line orc, because you, you can then reroll and you can just have a perfect bonus instead. But it's a bonus. Oh, yeah. Maybe 127 is better. It doesn't matter. Because you want the re. Yeah, there's a lot of things. Thing, yeah, maybe it's wrong. Loner 1 in 27 versus a, a rando 1 in 9 is also kind of hard enough to do besides because there's a whole bunch of if the if the troll fail is really stupid you know that it fails they're really stupid earlier he doesn't have really stupid let's just say it did <laughs> but he doesn't <laughs> but he doesn't but also 1 in 27 might actually be better with the water we really used to consider that one really isn't isn't guaranteed to not happen it's just a 50 percent chance to happen so yeah yeah, I think Yak was very lucky. I think I think his team was much better, um, and I think he's a huge favourite. And I think his team did what it was meant to do. Right, he made a lot of removals. Um, I don't know if Yak was fortunate to win. He was absolutely fortunate to never have the ball come off of his carrier and not have to scramble for it during an offense where he was still dallying. That's, and that's a great point by Rick Baseman there. Yeah, he acted really well the, f the first half. Yeah, so yeah, fair, yeah. fair play. Ch Chunter kind of deserved to lose the first half, but then deserved to to like. But then Yak deserved to lose the second half. If you if you see what I mean, like it, you know, yeah. it's kind of a double throw almost. Ch Chunter being forced in, in in four or five after a perfect defense. But again, Yak's team was a lot better, um, and then Yak just kind of sh you know. Arguably should have been punished for uh, for the chances that Chunter got, but then maybe Chunter was a bit lucky to get those chances as well because he didn't. The bang outs came in the first half, didn't they? Not in the second half. So you know, who knows? It was just it's a dice game. Things happened. I I guess there are three stand farms that you can't do for one turner. So mm. maybe you should still. I don't know if there's is there any way to do it um. now that he's set up this way. Well, you take you Juggernaut on your uh, on your on your over, well, of course. I don't understand. I, I guess I'm just wondering if there's a way to have done it by um, with your move seven guy, but I suppose not. Yeah. Movement seven players, because Yak for some reason just threw any chance of. He decided that he just wasn't going to actually do anything in case there was one turn. He doesn't even do like a proper back line. He's like, eh, it's it's fine. He's not. He can't go. Yeah. Uh, it was a real good game, yeah, yeah, real good game. Like both yeah. played well. Like, you know, I mean, I'm not saying mm -hmm. that like you know, it, it, yeah, like yeah, played terrible. It was yeah. like, that's the thing. Chunt gives you these problems to solve, and like if you if you don't come up with the exact, like you've pretty much got it. Like you know, that's the thing. He puts you under pressure to play nearly perfect every turn, and if you don't play nearly perfect, he'll get a chance. So like you know, it's not like Yak played terrible or anything for Chunt to get those chances. It's just that he didn't play perfectly enough or roll perfectly enough. To deny the chances, the chances of the enchanted well on his chances. His tactics on those turns are very good, and his teams are developed in a way that really leans into that. Like that team had a ton of blodge, blodge stand firm, and like blodge step on humans. So like you, just blocking is very hard to gain progress. Even if you're like moving players, you aren't really moving the ball forward. So he gets to keep your team locked in place, 
all yeah. stuck while his players threatened fall. So. Yeah, unless all of his players get killed, which they didn't. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, they um, <laughs> congratulations, Yakastai slash Veloso. Commiserations to Crystal Hunter. Thank you very much, Squirrel Dude. Being glorious having you in the booth. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.